Yeah, no, really looking forward to it. Exciting opportunity. Um, obviously, second opportunity of playing in a an overseas franchise tournament. So, yeah, really looking forward to getting out there. Um, it's all happened a bit quick over the last sort of week. Um, but, yeah, it should be a great experience and something really different. Um, so, yeah, should should learn loads while I'm there. What can you learn from your experience over there? Well, I think the pitches should spin, which is going to be good for me. Um, but off, I haven't really played on pitches that really spin, so that will be a different challenge in itself. Obviously, the heat will be another thing. Um, I found that quite tough in the Caribbean, so that will be something to try and develop a bit further as well. Um, and then again, just, you know, I'm going to be playing with top players, so adapting to different players, different styles. They're obviously going to be quite good players of spin. So, um, yeah, it, it's pretty well-rounded. Should be good. You have been trying to go away this winter. I mean, you wanted to learn more and take your skills worldwide. So you must be pretty pleased to finally get it over the line with the season coming. Yeah, it's been a little bit frustrating. I planned to go to Sydney um, and spend some time there, but didn't really work with the visas and stuff like that and with COVID and everything. So, yeah, it's nice to finally get that opportunity to go away and to, to play in a big tournament um, overseas should be great. You want to keep playing, don't you? Because you had such a good 2021. You want to keep that momentum into 2022. Yeah, definitely. It's been really, This has been a really important time for me as well, though. I've been working on a few things and um, it's allowed me sort of reset and, and go again. So I feel in a good place going into this and really ready to, you know, give it a good nudge. Have you been working with the bowling coaches then? What are they? What have you kind of been changing with your action? Yes, yeah, so I did quite a bit of work with Pop pre-Christmas and then with um, Shaky um, since he's come in. And yeah, just a few things with Robbo as well. Um, yeah, everyone's been helping me. It's been really good taking different ideas from different people and yeah, just tweaking a few things really to try and make myself better really. Has it helped you as well that you've been able to go to the 100 as well? Obviously learn from different coaching, different experiences? Yeah, for sure. That was obviously an awesome experience for me and to do well was really pleasing and learn, you know, loads from all around the tactics, um, skill um, and obviously playing against the world's best. So learned loads in that tournament and took a lot into the CPL and then now going to Bangladesh, feel, feel sort of ready to go having tweaked a few things, yeah. And obviously you signed a reasonably long-term deal with the Bears. This is now your home. How determined are you not only to bring silverware in the T20, but obviously you experienced the Red Bull cricket as well, didn't you? Yeah, I, I think it's a great place to be at the minute. It's a really good dressing room. Um, lads are sort of ready to go again already. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about this summer. Um, hopefully get some more opportunities in the Red Bull cricket. Um, re working really hard at that part of my game as well. Um, just so I'm ready to play if, if needed. And then in the T20, I, I think we're starting to... You know, we've got a blueprint of how we want to play and we're pretty happy with where we're going. And obviously Carlos has taken over as skipper and we're sort of, you know, gearing up for that, that tournament and hoping to go really well. Um, and I'm sure with the players we've got in this dressing room that we can mount a serious charge towards that T20. Yeah, your name's definitely going to be seen in franchise leagues around the world, but do you still aim to try and do your best in the Red Bull game and get involved as much as possible? Yeah, for sure. I think we've seen quite a lot of chat in the media about... Um, you know, more cricket being played in the peak of summer. And for me as a spinner, that's pretty key. I think it's hard to play as a spinner in April and September. So um, that's exciting to hear that there might be more, more championship cricket in the middle of the summer. So, yeah, it's a big part of what I want to do. I've, I've always enjoyed my Red Bull cricket, so it's something I'm working hard at.